Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create a drum pattern in Easy Drummer so that you can practice guitar along with and you can also use this for songwriting. And after we create this drum track, we're actually going to write a song together. I'm just going to like play whatever right here in front of you, which I seriously have no clue how this is going to turn out. All right, so we're going to get in the studio. We're going to dive right in. And guys, seriously, this is like stupid simple what I'm about to show you. And you know, you may already know how to do this. Uh, but if you don't, it's really going to help you. And even if you do, hey, just watch anyway, because it's going to be really entertaining, especially when we write a song together, because again, I have no clue what I'm going to play. All right, so we're going to start from scratch on this. I am just going to open up a new song. We're just going to call it New Song here. I'm using PreSonus Studio One Pro, by the way. That's the doll I am using. So now I'm going to go over here to my instruments menu on the right side. I've got Easy Drummer. I'm just going to drag it into a track here. All right, so step one is done. I'm going to make just a few modifications because I actually have the metal machine. So I'm going to change my drum set to that. You don't have to do this, by the way. You can just use whatever's here. And all we're really doing is we're just going to use some pre-made loops and that's what we're going to jam to or write with or whatever you want to do with it so here we go i'm going to go to my search oops not search my browser i'm going to go to my browser here okay and you'll see all the different drums you have now i have some additional packs so i'm just going to use you know the metal machine pack that i have and again if you don't have any additional packs in easy drummer it's okay just use like the pop rock or modern rock or whatever they have. It's really not important. All we're doing here is just creating a pattern that we can jam to and or write with. So uh, I'm gonna set my tempo first in my DAW to about 167 because that's kind of like a fun metal tempo for me to jam to for like good old thrash metal, you know. I'm going to find loops that are close to that range here. So here's some high BPM. Not really sure how high that is. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the verse and I'm just going to pick something. Okay, so I'm going to pick that second one. That sounds pretty cool. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it into my doll here. Now, in Studio One Pro, I can highlight that drum track and I can press the D button on my keyboard and it will duplicate that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press D, one, two, and three. I just duplicated that so that now I have four measures of drums for that pattern. So by that time, I'm probably going to be a little tired of that pattern while I'm playing. So now let's just choose one more pattern. Again, we're going to keep this stupid simple. All right, so from verse uh, under the high 165 BPM, I'm going to go under chorus here. Let's hear a couple of these. So that's more of like a halftime beat. That's kind of cool. You know what? Let's go with it. Screw it. Let's do it. It's like Richard Branson always says. It's pretty cool. So I've got that track there. It's where my chorus starts. I guess we'll call it that. I'm going to duplicate that three times. One, two, and three. So now what we have is we've got a verse for four measures. Then we've got another part of the song, which we'll call the chorus for four measures. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all of these loops here, everything we just put in here. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to do, I'm going to click on one of these loops and I'm going to press command A. I guess if you're Windows, control A. That highlights all of those drum tracks and or drum patterns rather and I'm just going to duplicate the entire thing boom done so now we have like a verse chorus verse chorus and I could duplicate that again but just to keep it simple I'm going to stick with this so we have our drum track I'm going to go ahead and open up a guitar track we're going to write a song to this okay all right so I just installed my guitar plug in here I'm using a bias amp 2 with bias effects 2 so Got my guitar in hand. Let's play along with this drum track that we just created. Again, I have no clue what I'm about to play. So if I screw up, I guess you can bash me in the comments, hey.
All right, so those were kind of just like stock metal riffs is what I call. I'll never forget, this makes me laugh because I'll never forget watching Metallica's Some Kind of Monster. And uh, they were like writing a song or playing something or whatever and Lars was playing this beat and then James just wasn't digging it. He's like, eh, you know, Lars is like, what's wrong with it? James is like, it's just kind of stock drums. And Lars gets all <laughs> pissed off. He's like, what do you mean stock? You know, it was seriously, those were kind of like what I call stock metal riffs, which are great. Uh, but that's really not the point in this video. I really just wanted to show you how simple and how easy it is to get into the studio and just create very quickly some kind of pattern. And really it's just a like, what, two-step process, I guess. You go into your DAW, you, um, you open up your Easy Drummer, and, and the two steps are really just setting your BPM, a mixture of that, and finding what beats you want to use and just throwing them into your track there. Well, I guess that's more than two steps, but you saw how quickly we did this. Now, here's the thing. I know in past videos I've kind of preached against using fake drums and drum machines and that sort of thing. But understand that drum programming and or you know fake drums, whatever you want to call them, actually they hold a lot of value for these purposes. And I'm going to give you three quick purposes. So one is just a practice to you could just run that loop right there. You can create a loop similar to what I created. And man, you can just practice to that. Just make up whatever or, or play skills, whether it's leads or rhythms, doesn't really matter, but you can practice along with drums and that will help you keep your timing. And it's much more motivating to practice to a drum machine or fake drums or drum programming, whatever we call them. It's much more motivating to do that instead of practicing to a click, 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 or not practicing to any tempo at all and that's gonna kind of screw you up if you ever go to play with a band because your timing's probably not gonna be on point. Now, the second thing is, this is phenomenal for songwriting, what we just did. Like I said, guys, we just pretty much wrote a song together. <laughs> you and I, all of us. You see how easy it is to just throw some patterns in there, throw like a verse pattern, then do a different pattern later in the song so that you have some differentiations to when you can change up the riffs. And you can even dig in a little deeper if you wanted to have more patterns. Maybe you want an intro pattern, a verse pattern, a chorus pattern, a bridge, a solo, and blah, 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 and mix those up. You know, you can easily do that with just a few more clicks than what we just did. So it's pretty awesome. And the third reason to use program drums is this also gives the drummer a great reference point, and I'll share my personal story. So for my solo albums, I actually record my stuff here in my studio, and I put you know a drum program to it to send to my drummer so that he has a reference to go by. He's like, okay, well, I can kind of see what Jason's wanting here, so I can kind of follow that same groove if that makes sense. So yeah, drum programs and drum loops and whatever you're using can come in real handy for these situations. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and ding that little bell. I have a lot of people that watch my videos that aren't subscribed and it's like, hmm, subscribe, just do it, you know? I put out cool stuff. But anyway, thank you so much again for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. I always try to answer you guys back. Until the next video, as always, keep it metal.